At the heart of what makes America a strong, independent world leader is a clear understanding of stewardship, the responsibility to respect the environment by all who interact with it. We are now at a crossroads where our energy and conservation needs require a gentler touch, a more reasoned approach to stewardship. And, as with most problems we face, an opportunity arises. Every time a wind farm is built, we have less dependency on coal, we have less dependency on oil, we have less dependency on anything foreign, and we're not as vulnerable. I think it's time that maybe we start standing on our own two feet in this nation and take care of it ourselves, and I think wind is a good way to produce electricity and rather than uh, do it with coal. We have to be looking at alternative energy, and this is one of them. I mean, the study's been done, the wind blows here in the township of Forest. In Wisconsin, we don't have a lot of areas that are suitable for wind farms, but in Forest Township, we have a very good site. And we, it would be awesome if Wisconsin could take a leadership role in wind energy, and um, Forest could be part of that plan. The Highland Wind Farm calls for 39 wind turbines that will produce enough electricity to power 25,000 homes, more households than currently exist in all of St. Croix County making forest a valuable asset in Wisconsin's long-term energy plan. In addition, it will generate six to eight permanent full-time jobs and 200 jobs during construction. To fully understand the option before us, it's essential to listen to the stewards of the land, the people who have worked to protect it and share its bounty with all of us. As you can see in the background, we have a windmill that my grandfather used to pump water, and he harnessed the wind to do that, and I think I'd be a very, very proud if I could do the same and harness that wind to generate electricity. I think my grandparents and great-grandparents and my father would be very proud to know that we're standing up and that we want these wind turbines here, we want this project here. The residents of Glenmore, Wisconsin, when offered the same opportunity, found that the community and personal benefits of leading the way to energy independence far outweighed changes in the landscape. In fact, as a neighbor living near wind turbines, John Leiterman feels they are a welcome addition to his community. As far as we're concerned, they're beautiful to see them out there. Uh, you get up in the morning and the sun's coming up, and it's kind of neat to look towards the east and see these turbines out there. In the afternoon, there's one to our west, and a little bit to our west, southwest. It's kind of nice in the afternoon when the sun is setting to see that turbine. It's a nice picture. It's a picture. There are substantial rewards for harvesting the wind. Over 30 years, the rewards are quite literally a windfall. Forest Township will receive more than $4.8 million. St. Croix County, over $6.8 million and good neighbor payments, totaling nearly $4 million, will be shared by residents neighboring turbine properties. Additional monies will be negotiated for property rental, easements, and increased revenue and employment realized during construction and routine maintenance. This promises a brighter future for Forest. Right now, every time a road has to be improved, we all have to kick in uh, in our property taxes. So. It would, it would keep our property taxes down. It would um, maybe even uh, be possible to give people a tax rebate on their property taxes. Potential of improving what we do have in the village of Forest or township of Forest, um, the ball field right in Forest. There's two old feed mills that could be cleaned up. Um, maybe a new gas station put in town, electrical gas station for the future. So let us carefully examine the misconceptions and allegations, such as turbines are noisy. I mean, there's no buzzing, there's no other noise. I mean, just, it's a, it makes it like a peaceful valley. It's like a, when you come from the, see them coming out of Green Bay, you see them over on I-43 look this way. It's like a, a giant peaceful valley. It's, there's no problem whatsoever for us. Uh, basically, turbines today are much more quiet than they had been in years past. 
the blades of the turbines are truly a wing. And the turbine spins on the basis of lift. So we don't need a real strong breeze to have it turning and it can turn slower to generate the torque that we need to produce the energy. But you know, you know what happens to people? You can put this in your mind and it gets kind of locked in there and you can convince yourself you hear this stuff. You can program your mind into something that isn't for real. Or the notion that shadows are intrusive or harmful to livestock. Oh, there's shadows. Yeah, there's shadows. Um, I can't say that I've seen shadows in the house recently, but long about uh, oh, around Christmas time, when the sun was low in the morning, the one over in Mark's Woods over there, that would put some flashes through the kitchen. I thought that was kind of neat. Or the perception that property values will decrease. Carol Johnson shares her experiences as a property appraiser. When we were looking at building our house, we did know about the wind project coming and it just didn't enter into our decision as to whether we would build or not. In my experience as an appraiser, I've never seen a correlation between wind projects and property values. But land value in this area, agricultural land, is actually doubled in the last three and a half years. Agricultural landowners, those most dedicated to protecting and preserving the environment, have carefully assessed the options. They understand that wind farming is a natural continuation of the county's heritage of providing essential products. I look at it that wind is a new crop for dairy farmers, farmers in general in the state of Wisconsin. And yes, we own our land, we pay the taxes. I believe it's up to us to do what we want with our land. I feel uh, some of the people that have moved in here lately are probably came from the city and looking for a better place to live probably and maybe they're not farm related but I guess I shouldn't have somebody else telling me what I can and can't do with my property. We've seen zoning changes where there were farming communities. They were basically zoned out of existence because of um, people being offended by manure or animals making noises or whatever. The general people that are against these are the people that moved out from the Twin City area and have this wide open land and now they're telling us what, they, what we can do with our land. If you're not allowed to have a, a wind turbine on your property because your neighbor, for whatever reasons, decided they don't want you to have that, um, that opens the door to restrict you from anything on your land. The next, you know, you can be restricted from anything. You, you can't have a driveway here. You can't have a silo there. You can't even have these kind of animals. Um, once you open the door to restricting land use, it's open and, and you can't close it. It just gets more and more restrictive. Factual information dispels rumors and petty preferences. Armed with facts, we can make clear-headed decisions. But the main thing is going with an open mind. That's the, that's the key to anything you do in life. Don't have your ideas all set in your head before you get there, because it's going to backfire on you. I think if the wind project was built in a different township because of this controversy, I think down the road, people would realize what a terrible loss that is. Uh, it's hard to see it now, but we would see it. Uh, I think it would be a huge regret. I think if this town would have been passed up, I think the people that are within the town, there's enough people would have been really upset about it, why we didn't get it. Shall we move into a cleaner future? Or will we yield our liberties and rights, the very things we have cherished and passed from generation to generation on our land? I come from a farming community and, and I don't like to see farming communities die. And I would like to see this one flourish and, and this wind project would make that possible. Mm -hmm.